Fired on Mars is a new Max original animated series. Man, I'm not going to get used to saying that name Max. Such a terrible name for a service. I get why they're rebranding the name, but it fucking sucks. Anyways, um, this show is very interesting because it's another one of these animated shows made for this service that kind of came out of nowhere because they do this a lot. And I think most people don't realize this keeps happening. They drop a trailer for a show the week before, like, like, like four days before it comes out. So that way they go, hey, it's Monday. This show is coming out Thursday. Which is just terrible from a marketing standpoint because then there's no time to build awareness of the show coming out. So when it does come out, people don't know about it. And now most of the shows that they've done this with weren't going to have huge audiences with anyways. And they weren't very good shows. Um, I'm not going to name all of them. But essentially this show is one of those as, as well. Uh, as one of those just surprise drops. However, this show is actually pretty good. And I'm going to be reviewing each episode of the show as they release weekly. I think they're planning to do what they do with Velma. Where they release two episodes a week. So I'll be talking about two episodes a week. Um, I think there's eight of them. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to review this show. And I really like this show. And what's great about it is this show is... Is a... Uh, like a workplace comedy show with a very relatable main character that is kind of like pathetic but in a way that you find him relatable <laughs> and the re I think uh, what they do a great job at is making you feel for this character in these first two episodes this character is not important to his job his people around him his co-workers nobody cares about him his girlfriend clearly does not have the time for him. He just seems kind of like pathetic and kind of sad. And so he's trying to get up the ranks. Jeff is an interesting main character. He's trying to get up the ranks in his job and get somewhere in life. He clearly has a drive to do so. He just put, put he just isn't the greatest at getting there. He's a graphic designer. You know, things like that. And it's, it's a really relatable show. And I think that's great. And I also wonder if this show is taking influence from The Martian. The show is called Fired on Mars. It takes place on Mars. Um, and Jeff, the way he's voice acted and the way he's uh, put together, feels very much like he's like trying to imitate uh, Matt Damon style. He has similar monologues like that. Not that he's stranded on a planet by himself like Matt Damon in that movie. But yeah. I uh, think that's interesting, and I really like that aspect. Also, I enjoyed the Lord of the Rings parody that this dude was watching in the episodes. I thought that was great. And yeah, I just thought those were really cool episode. Uh, first couple episodes really getting you into the characters. I had a couple laughs with it, and I liked a lot of the voice acting. It's just, it's also a very relaxing show. It's very easy to just chill and watch this show. Um, Interesting that they're releasing it weekly. It does feel like a show that's made to be more binged than released weekly, but I'm also happy because it might build more awareness of the show, and I did really like this show and do want to see more. Let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe.